Hey guys, what's going on? This is Zach and today I'm going to tell you how to make your Facebook ads look less like this and more like... I'll probably put up a picture of an ad that I have but blur it out so you can't really tell what it is so it's not even helpful. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of interesting creative direction in this video to keep my niche and my products sacred. But regardless, yeah, today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can pretty much always design a winning Facebook ad. So it's not going to guarantee the success of an ad because a few different factors go into your Facebook ad ads and uh, determining on if they will be a good ad or not. Primarily, it's three things. It's the actual product that you're selling, it's the targeting of your ad, and then it's the content of your ad. So I'm going to tell you how to take this third thing right here, the content of the ad, and make it really, really good so that if it fails, you know it's one of the other two things. So let's get right into it. There are really three steps that you need to take into account and to act on to make sure that your ad is really, really good. And there's kind of a formula that I always follow and that can be tweaked to any niche or any product to where it's going to cover all the bases of the successful things that you're going to need and you'll really succeed as long as you follow these certain things. So first of all, and this goes true for every aspect of dropshipping, you need to make sure that you are in the head of your customers. You need to get into their body like they're interested in the niche or the general area of products that you're selling and you need to think about what would successfully market this product to them. Right, so if you're trying to sell a dog necklace, you need to get into the head of a dog owner probably around age 30, right? And you need to think about how best to market to them. So it wouldn't be an ad showing the specifications of the necklace, like, oh yeah, it's 15 karat golds, whatever. No, you wanna make it look really appealing because that's what people care about most, right? So you're gonna do this for anything and you need to brainstorm before actually acting. So get into the head of the people in your niche and think about the best way that you could possibly market it to them. So this is largely going to come into play in two parts of your ad. One, it's gonna come into play in the picture, which I'm gonna talk about, and two, it's gonna come into play in the first part of the caption, which I'm also gonna tell you about. So it's very, very important that you know who exactly you're trying to market this to, because it is gonna be a little bit different for every single product, so I can't just tell you straight up, hey, sell it like this. However, generally, the way that you are going to sell it is you're going to have the specific area like dog lovers, let's just say, and you're also going to have people that are more superficial than actual like specifications of the product, unless it's kind of like a technical product, then yeah, you might want to go into more specifications, but it's going to be largely based on looks and social proof or hype. Right, so now that you have that, probably the most important part is getting a really good picture. And there are two ways you can go about this. First way, and this is the way that most people do it, is they go on AliExpress and they find the product pictures of this product, pick a good one, and slap it on the end. Now, I have done this. This is actually a big portion of what my ads are. However, it's not going to work great for everything. I'm going to tell you why. You need to find a picture that not only just shows the product, but shows how it can be used so the customer can put themselves into the position of the model in the picture, right? So if it's a bracelet, you want to have a kind of lifestyle picture of someone wearing the bracelet out in an item that really well represents your niche. So if you have just kind of like a lifestyle page, you want to have someone wearing the bracelet out on the beach, for example, have a really nice artsy shot of that so they can put themselves into that uh, model's position and be like, okay, this is how I'll look if I'm wearing the bracelet. The alternate to this is just having a picture of the bracelet, and this is not that good. It's good if you want to show detail because you really can't get as good a detail of the product uh, when it's not just a picture of it like this or just like on a table or something. However, it is a little bit harder to market it this way for two reasons. One, if someone else is selling the product, I can guarantee that they have the same exact picture that they've been marketing it as. And if you haven't done 
too much digging to find your product, there's gonna be several people that are selling this product and several of them are going to be using this same product picture. So you're really not gonna stand out from the crowd at all and it's gonna make it a lot harder for you. If you can find a good interesting picture to put up there that kind of differs from everything else, then great, steal it from another page. Just, you know, you gotta be sneaky about it. Don't actually try and monetize the picture because that's when you get into a really gray area. Um, or, this is what I highly recommend, if you have a product that you know will sell, or that has sold in the past, order the product yourself and take the pictures, right? It'll immediately, it guarantees that you're not going to be using the same picture as anybody else, you're going to stand out and you can mark uh, model it in so many different ways and actually split test those pictures to see what best works and what people best respond to and then in the future you can model all of your other pictures and products like that because you found one that really really works and it makes your job a hell of a lot easier instead of having to dig through AliExpress and trying to find pictures that kind of look different or unique or look like they'd be marketing the product in a good way. So now we're going to get into captions and I'll pull up a picture right now of one of my ads and how successful it was. Uh, and it was a very, very, very simple ad. I just had a picture of the product on a white background and then had the caption up there and that was it. Now this was a PPE ad, right? But it did fantastic. I made so much money off of this one type of ad. And here's the structure of the caption that I used, right? So the very first line is going to be social proof. Now I'm gonna use the example of like a dog necklace because it's so well known. Um, I'll use this as an example. So with the social proof, what I mean by this is, say it's a golden retriever. Um, I'm gonna put owners of golden retrievers have been loving this necklace. Or golden retriever owners love showing their pride with this necklace. Or love showing their love. Something like that. Something that shows, hey, other people like you also feel very positively towards this product, right? You can word it in any way you want, but make sure that that's front and center, one of the first things that they read to show, hey, people like you really like this product, you should consider it too, okay? After that, you need to create some sense of urgency. Get them to click on your ad, not just be like, oh, that's pretty, if I stumble upon it, I'll buy it again. No, you need to make sure that people need this product right now. And what I always do for this is I'm always like, hey, flash sale, 24 hours, 50% off, right? That's the kind of scarcity that I have going. Now it is actually 50% off. I said it that way. It never was full price on my website, but it is actually 50% off on the website. And you want to make sure that you're not lying about this because if they're like, oh, it's 50% off, go to your website and see it's 25% off a big portion of those people are gonna bounce. So, you need to really make sure this is accurate, but have it on there. Make people think, oh crap, this is like, there's probably five hours left, I need to go check this out now. And then make sure there's some sort of scarcity on your website to match up with this so it's not only from the ad, right? Third thing that you're gonna wanna do is a link to the product. So once again, this is a PPE ad. However, you can do this exact structure with a conversion ad. You just actually need to add the uh, call to action button down there, but it's also good to have a link in the little description. Okay, so what I always have is just get it here or get yours here, a couple arrows and then a shortened link to the product. So you can actually do this in Shopify. If you go to navigation and you go to, I believe it's domains, you, there's a URL um, shortener thing, or it's like a domain redirect. I forget the exact link, um, but it's in there and you can shorten it. So if you have like uh, website.com slash collection slash product slash name of it. You can just shorten it to website.com slash whatever you want. This is what I always do because it makes it look very on brand and it makes it look very simple. So if I'm selling a necklace, it'll be website.com slash necklace. And then you just bam, post that right in there and then you're done. 
that's it, that's the ad, that's the winning formula that I use, and it makes sure that my ads, if, it, if an ad fails, it's because my targeting is either bad or the product is bad. This formula, if I have a winning product, works every single time, without fail, so make sure you are doing this. I'll put a picture up again of the ad, um, copy this formula, yeah, so just a really, really quick recap, what you wanna do, get in the head of the customer. Think about what marketing strategies would really work for them, okay? Number two, you need to get a really good picture. If there aren't any lifestyle pictures available on AliExpress, order the product, and this is if you know the product sells. If you've never even sold one unit of it, don't do this, because it could be a waste, unless the product's like a dollar, then who cares? But order it, and then make sure you have really nice lifestyle pictures of the product. Pictures that the customer can put themselves into and see themselves with your product. Number three, you wanna make really good captions, starting with social proof at the top, uh, scarcity in the middle, a sense of urgency, and then a direct link to the product. This formula will work for you if you have everything else going for you. It takes a little bit to really get used to and to really make your ads as good as possible, but if you follow this simple formula, you're gonna be fine. You'll succeed. Good luck, guys. Check out 101ecom.com. I got some stuff on there. Also, check down in the description for a free 14-day Shopify trial if you're ready to get started, if you're confident in your ad-making abilities. And I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Peace out.